do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos students let us solve question number 8 neat physics paper 2016 Students, let us solve question number eight. A particle moves so that its position vector is given by r equals to this one. So, position vector of the particle is given where omega is a constant. Which of the following is true? And uh, as you can see, the equation it has uh, in the x cap direction, this y cap direction, so i and j cos i cap sine j cap. So this is how the particle is more changing its position vector. You have to find which of the following is true. You have to find the velocity is perpendicular to r, and the acceleration is directed away from the origin. You have to write whether velocity and acceleration both are perpendicular to each other. You have to write uh, check whether the velocity is is velocity and acceleration both are parallel. It should be end. Velocity is perpendicular to r, and acceleration is directed toward the origin. If I write the position vector, the position vector r is given by cos of omega t x cap plus sine of omega t y cap. So in place of x cap now y cap, you can write i cap and uh, j cap. If I differentiate this dr over dt, I'm getting the velocity of the particle, which is given by minus omega sine omega t. This is x cap and uh, plus omega. Cos omega t, it is y cap. Now, if I find acceleration, the acceleration is the derivative of this uh, equation because uh, v equals to dr over dt and a equals to dv over dt. So this a is uh, given by differentiation of this equation. So this differentiation will give me minus omega square cross of omega t x cap minus omega square sine of omega t and y cap. So this is the equation. The first one is R, which is given in the question, and the second and third equations are velocity and acceleration expressions, respectively. I have to go with the options. So let us check option number one. What it says: velocity is perpendicular to R, and acceleration is directed away from the origin. In this situation, what I'll do? In this situation, I write that uh, it says that velocity is perpendicular to r, so I'll find the dot product of velocity and r. If they are, uh, if it is zero, that means they are perpendicular. We know that if a vector a is perpendicular to vector b, that implies the dot product will be zero because a dot b is a b cos theta, and theta being ninety. The whole thing will be zero. So if I take the dot product, and if it is zero, then that means they are perpendicular. So this is a uh, v dot r, and I have v, v which is given by minus omega because I just have to write this to v and r quickly. Just let me write that omega sine omega t x cap plus 
cos of omega t y cap. This is my V dot product of R which is cos of omega t x cap plus sine of omega t j cap. So if I take the different uh, the, the dot product of these two, I know the dot product is uh, only to multiply these corresponding values. So this will be uh, omega minus obviously there sine omega t cos omega t and this one will give me plus of sine omega here I think one omega is I didn't write here one omega is also there here one omega is there so one omega will be here omega sine omega t cos omega t and this is how we write the v and r because if a vector a is uh, a1 x uh, a1 i cap a2 j cap and uh, b vector is b2 i cap and uh, plus b2 j cap a1 a2 and b1 b2 is the result this is a scalar number so if i see the option then i can see that the uh, omega sine omega the cos omega the omega sine omega the cos omega the plus minus this will cancel and give me zero this means that this means that the velocity in r vector are perpendicular suppose that the particle is here moving in this direction in a curve and the velocity direction is here and suppose with respect to origin it is like that this is my r vector and this uh, turns out to be if v is perpendicular to r then uh, The particle is actually moving in a circle. It's actually moving in a circle, and uh, V is perpendicular. And another thing we will find that acceleration is directed away from the origin. Away from the origin means acceleration. Of, there will be acceleration for circular motion, and it should be towards the origin. That means a vector and uh, r vector then it should be a negative sign that vector a should be some number i don't know that and that it will it should be have having this relation that means the acceleration is directed uh, towards the origin and obviously against this uh, position vector so if uh, i want to check that i have to see what is a a comes out to be the last uh, time we wrote it a was this one minus being common uh, right omega square cos omega t x cap plus omega square sine omega t y cap and omega being common this negative sign is common now in terms of r r we know is cos omega t x cap y sine omega t and uh, sine omega is y cap so from that i write omega square also I'll take out this will become cos of omega t x cap plus sine of omega t y cap so if that is the case then it is omega square and what about these values what about these values so what about these values this expression and uh, this expression are same and this expression represents r so this will represent r so this a vector is minus omega square r if that is the case then the particle is moving it is obvious that the particle is moving in a circle where this is the origin the radius vector is radially outward and the acceleration is radially inward and that acceleration is known as centripetal acceleration so a and r vector will have negative sign so acceleration is directly away from the origin that is not true velocity and acceleration both are perpendicular no it is not perpendicular 
velocity is perpendicular to r and acceleration directed towards the origin that is correct that acceleration is directed towards the origin and that uh, velocity and r are perpendicular to each other so this is also correct so therefore the right answer to this question is uh, option number 4 okay thank you